This is Michael Dodge, Director of Public Relations at Barton Community College, and you're tuned in to Cougar Paws on KVGB 1590 AM. Today we're talking with Darnell Holoparic. She's Executive Director of Institutional Advancement at Barton Community College. And joining her are Academic Enrichment Fund Campaign Honorary Co-Chairs, Rob and Tricia Dove. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, the Foundation's annual AEF campaign uh, will be held through this month of March. Uh, tell us what that entails, Darnell. Okay. Every year we try to do a mail campaign and get out to our constituents and then to our donors and ask them to give uh, to this annual campaign for scholarships or for their own endowments or that's when sometimes they fund their annual scholarship. But it's just a way for us to let people know that this is the time of the year that we'd like for them to give to help the college. Okay. And for this uh, drive, that money actually goes into next fall as far as funding scholarships, correct? That's true, yes. Uh, we will take funds all year long, as you well know, but this will help next year's academic uh, scholarships and so forth. Okay, and Darnell mentioned academic scholarships, so we want to stress that these are for academic scholarships that, that uh, are, ha are given to many uh, individuals who, who, you know, are, are working their way through school or are needing to get uh, a little assistance in order to be able to go to school, so it comes in uh, uh, in, a, in uh, a great way for many, many students. So, uh, we're in year two of tough economic times. Isn't that the case that you know, you always want people to give, but it's at these times when it's so important because it is a tough time for everyone. Well, it's a tough time, and there are so many people that are needing to come back to get retraining. Mike, um, you know, we don't just serve traditional students. There are a lot of non-traditional students, part-time students, that really need our assistance so they can come back in, either further their degree or get out, get in and get out and go to work again. And so our community is fully aware that that they're needing our help to train uh, individuals in our region. So yes, the, these times are tough and, and it's tough for our donors and it's tough for everyone involved, but you know, it's like everything. This is when they really need to give and help us out so we can in turn help the community and the students we serve. Okay, and speaking of giving, we have two of our guests here, our honorary co-chairs, Rob and Tricia Dove. You guys obviously, Rob, you, you run a business, you're plenty busy, I'm sure. Uh, you've taken the time to, to get involved in this campaign and you sit on the foundation board and have for, for many years. What, what is it about being involved to that level that's important to you? Well, I first became involved about eight years ago when I was asked to be on the foundation board. And quite frankly, when I first joined, I was a little timid, uh, didn't know quite what was going on, and I got involved, got charged, got excited about what was happening out here at the college, what was happening on the Hill, and uh, it just charged me up to be involved uh, as a business owner and as a resident of, uh, of this area. And uh, it just caught on like wildfire, and I just kept on going for the last eight years. Okay. And I might mention, uh, Rob's being a good sport, because we, we took two of his better technicians, our instructors in our auto tech program, but that's actually worked out well for Rob, because it's kind of a feeder program for him, for his service station at, that, that he operates. It does a very fine job for D-Dubs. So, uh, Rob, you kind of got the short end, and then in the end it worked out okay, right? Well, the two automotive instructors are Darcy Weedle and Ron Kermer. Uh, they both were previous service managers of ours at Dove Buick Chevrolet Cadillac Pontiac. And uh, when uh, the college offered them a job, yes, I was a little bit uh, perturbed at the time. <laughs> but uh, it has worked out very, very well because uh, both of these instructors are fine instructors. Uh, and I can say that because um, uh, uh, students of theirs have been hired by us and a lot of other uh, community and area-wide uh, uh, mechanical shops and they have uh, the ones we've gotten hold of have been excellent excellent employees came out of a very very good program uh, that they have built up over the uh, past many years and in fact we've got two of them right now and they are part of our star uh, technician line and you know it's really uh, interesting to me, Tricia, because uh, when we have our uh, uh, co-chairs, 
uh, each year. You kind of want to know what the uh, link is with the Barton Community College. You obviously are, are uh, a prime supporter of education. You were a teacher for many years in, in the learned school system, but you've directly used uh, Barton Community College uh, several, a couple of times in your life. Can you kind of go into detail on that about getting your associate's degree and then also by finishing up your, uh, your education to become a, a, a teacher? Sure. Uh, when I first graduated from high school, I enrolled in a four-year college, and I withdrew before I got my bachelor's degree. And then several years later, when I found myself back in the same area, I enrolled as a non-traditional student out here and got an associate's degree in secretarial sciences, which I, at that time, was able to get financial aid, which helped me considerably, and certainly helped me in finding a job uh, in the interim. Uh, then, a few years after that, when I decided I was going to go back and try to finish up my bachelor's degree, I was enrolled again at a four-year college, but found that I was able to take a number of classes out here at Barton that would transfer, which saved me not only a lot of hassle, but expense and time, and it worked out really well. So then, uh, in teaching in Larned, there, after we had been there a number of years, there were several of us uh, colleagues that decided we were going to uh, enroll and get our master's degree out here at Barton. And so again, as non-traditional, we came out here, worked a couple of nights a week, and was able to get our master's degree. So uh, that's something certainly that I would not have been able to have done working full time and having to enroll in a four-year college. Okay, so very good. Uh, we're going to come back to Cougar Paws after this break. <laughs> 